Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another thrilling adventure of Beer 30. Cerveza, here's to you, here's to me. Should we ever disagree, here's to all of us. Chug a lug, chug a lug. Pros, cheers, uh, what else? Can't think of anything else. Drink. Mm. This pizza came from a pizza place about 15 miles from Cavallo Lake State Park in New Mexico near Truth or Consequences. Actually, it came from the little town of Airy. There's, a, there's actually a little restaurant there called, well, it's a cafe. It's called the, the Airy Cafe, A-R-R-E-Y. It's just a little town. And excellent pizza. I mean, it's 16 inches. Do, do, 16 inches, okay? And it's loaded. Where do you see this thing? It weighs about three pounds. But anyway, it's got, well, it's got chunks of ham, uh, onion, mushrooms, black olives, pepperoni, sausage, uh, all kind of stuff and plenty of cheese, plenty of stuff, you know, and that's pretty good. That's just a small town little cafe, and uh, I guess they may buy the crust, I'm not sure, but um, how much was it? 20 bucks, and they don't take credit cards either, but that's pretty good, huh? That'll make me, there's eight slices there, and I eat one half a slice per meal, okay, because I just eat it in the evening with, uh, uh, while I'm having a glass of wine and reading a book. So I've got 16 meals there, or evening snacks, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, <laughs> is that delicious? Yeah, I mean, I'll heat it. Uh, what I do is I'll take one slice and put it on this thing here. I get this real hot, and then that way I can get the, the pizza really crispy. If you tell people at pizza places to make it crispy, they never do, you know what I mean? It ends up being kind of gummy you know what I mean and uh, so what I'll do is I'll crisp it up on my crisper there and uh, that'll be that you know what I mean but anyway guys for Friday afternoon beer 30 the sun's setting in the west again it's scary isn't it guess what that is you know what that is but yeah this is the view from my RV and you can enjoy that while I have a beer and oh, also some of you that watch that driving to Hillsboro video uh, ask about you know doing the video of Hillsboro I did a video of the whole town actually several uh, here a few a couple of years ago and I uh, probably won't do any more so if you just sort of do a, a, a go to my channel and do a video search on my channel for Hillsboro uh, you should get some videos that show you what that little town's all about and it hadn't changed any because I did drive in there and then visit with some people that I had talked with before. And uh, yeah, it's the same thing. The restaurant's still for sale. And uh, the restaurant, they got a restaurant there that's open like, uh, I think it's open Saturday and Sunday, maybe Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, yeah, they want like, well, they got a house, the restaurant and something else for $399,000. But it's a great location. It's on the way to, uh, Silver City Highway 152 from uh, Truth or Consequences or however and uh, yeah it's not too far it's about 50 miles on further down to uh, Silver City yeah that's what I was trying to yeah the elevation there is about oh 6,000 feet at uh, Hillsboro nice town man great climate yeah this is pretty here to me too I like this high desert stuff but anyway, we'll be rolling out of here on uh, Tuesday morning, going somewhere else. I'm not quite sure yet where, but I've got a tentative plan. Again, here's to you guys. Chug a lug, chug a lug. Mm. Yeah, if you don't drink, you know, alcohol or adult beverages, whatever they want to call them, to be politically correct. Oh, that that fan noise you hear is the air conditioner. And there's no RV that has a really quiet air conditioner, unfortunately. But that's the way that is. So, yeah, it's about, oh, 430-ish or in that range. 
uh, here, and it's beer 30 for me. And uh, yeah, it's been a good day. I mean, I, I enjoy uh, being out here and doing this stuff. And and we'll do, we'll see a few more things. But as far as doing anything really exotic, I don't know. I got a lot of feedback on the uh, dash cam and GoPro stuff, and uh, probably won't do anything. Why? Because <laughs> too damn complicated. I mean, you know. Right now, you know, my theory and philosophy always has been if it ain't broke, don't fix it and keep it simple, stupid, you know, the old KISS principle. So, yeah, so we're going to probably head that way. But the, the video I did, the driving video to Hillsboro uh, was d done with the Pixel 4a. And, uh, yeah, it, it looked okay to me. And uh, so, yeah, I got to take a pause for the cause here, guys. But that's my new neighborhood, or not new neighborhood, just the neighborhood, because uh, it'll probably be something like this for a while, or similar. Uh, I'll go back to uh, Valley of the Fires and uh, fool around over there, and uh, it may do Elephant Butte on the way, because it kind of is on the way if I want to go around through Socorro and then over to Valley of the Fires. may do that, because I need to do my laundry in Capitan uh, when I get to Valley of the Fires and probably get some groceries and stuff and then come back through Alamogordo and gas up the motorhome and then you know after that after I've got I'm taken care of through uh, like the second week of September <clears throat> and then after that I'm not sure as far as heading back to Texas I don't know we'll just see how crazy this uh, state gets I mean on the you know what and uh, Right now, it's not a problem. I mean, I went into some places today, you know, even though they've got the new mandate uh, on the stuff, uh, nobody's wearing, no, nobody, I haven't seen anybody wearing a mask yet. I mean, that's it. So, you know, maybe that's just, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's your choice. Do what you want to do and enjoy your weekend. And it is uh, Friday night again, man. Isn't that something? Yeah. But, you know, look at that sky and, and the humidity out there right now. It's probably about 20%. Temperature right now shows to be about 87 degrees. And uh, if you're in the shade, you feel perfectly comfortable. Uh, but if you're in the direct sunlight, it's, it's warm. Yeah, it, you'll feel it. And that sun will cook your bones, man. So, yeah, anytime you're traveling in New Mexico and Arizona and Nevada and Southern California and places, and you're going to be out in the sun, well... Wear you a good hat, long sleeve shirts, and long pants, you'd be better off. But having said that, ladies and gentlemen, from Cavallo Lake, New Mexico, on a Friday evening, this is Rusty78609 saying, chug a lug, cheers, prost, and all that stuff. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time, so important. And today is the day after yesterday. You know what that means, don't you? And, uh, yeah, the first day of the rest of your life is right now, so, of this moment. So, if, you know, if you got something on your mind and you're thinking about doing it, well, uh, when are you going to start? <laughs> so, guys, again, adios amigos. Enjoy your Friday evening. Enjoy your weekends for those of you that are working. For those of you that are retired, you don't even know that it's a weekend like me. I have to kind of look at the calendar to be sure. So, anyway, guys. Adios, keep your health, stand guard at the door of your mind. Enjoy your weekend, guys. Adios, bye-bye.